U.S. soccer and members of the national team have paid tribute to one of the country's leading journalists, Grant Wall, who died suddenly in Qatar during Argentina's win over the Netherlands. The 48-year-old collapsed inside the stadium and despite receiving medical treatment, sadly passed away shortly afterwards. In Wall's podcast published on Thursday, the journalist noted he'd been suffering with what he thought was bronchitis and had twice attended the medical clinic within the media centre. Wall had been in Qatar throughout the tournament where he wrote several stories critical of the country's human rights record and its treatment of the LGBTQ community. Last month, Wall posted on Twitter how he'd been stopped by security ahead of the USA versus Wales game and detained for 25 minutes for wearing a shirt with a rainbow on it. FIFA released a statement with reaction from President Gianni Infantino. He said, it is with disbelief and immense sadness that I've been made aware of the passing of renowned sports journalist Grant Wall whilst reporting on a quarter-final match. Only some days ago, Grant was recognised by FIFA and AIPS for his contribution to reporting on eight consecutive World Cups. And his career also included attendance at several Women's World Cups, as well as host of other international sporting events. It continued. His love for football was immense and his reporting will be missed by all who follow the global game. On behalf of FIFA and the football community, we express our sincerest condolences to his wife, Celine, his family and his friends at this most difficult time. In a statement, the US men's team posted the following on Twitter. The entire US soccer team Family is heartbroken to learn that we have lost Grant Wall. Fans of soccer and journalism of the highest quality knew we could always count on Grant to deliver insightful and entertaining stories about our game and its major protagonists. Grant's belief in the power of the game to advance human rights was and will remain an inspiration to all. It goes on to say, Grant made soccer his life's work and we are devastated that he and his brilliant writing will no longer be with us. US Soccer sends its sincerest condolences to Grant's wife and all his family members, friends and colleagues in the media. Tributes have also been paid to Wall by many of the national team's players, including US women's team captain Becky Sabron. She tweeted, the soccer community lost a real one today, and for women's soccer, one of the originals who helped drive our game forward. Grant Wall never shied away from asking the tough questions, the right questions, the ones that got to the heart of the matter. He will be greatly missed. Now, Wall had been in the media for over 30 years, including working for Sports Illustrated, where he posted a piece on a young LeBron James before his NBA career took off. James also paid tribute to Wall today, saying, I'm very fond of Grant and having that cover shoot, me being a teenager and him covering that, it was a pretty cool thing. It's a tragic loss. It's unfortunate to lose someone as great as he was, and I wish his family the best. May he rest in paradise. And Sky Sports' Martin Tyler, who's in Qatar, knew Wall personally. I was in the ground and I only was told afterwards that there'd been an issue probably about 10 rows further back from where I was broadcasting. I only found out this morning that it was Grant, who I knew, respected, had some dealings with because he, he got everybody's number in his contacts book. He was such a great champion for uh, the world game, the game that we love in a, a country that was fighting to get recognition. And it's a massive loss on th that front, but it's a massive loss personally. And I send all my condolences to his family and friends. I can't really believe it's happened to someone so young.